Sigma INFJs rarely communicate with others. But if they do, eye contact is essential in determining whether they will take people seriously. But what is eye contact that matters a lot to Sigma INFJs? Here are 10 reasons people should always maintain eye contact with a Sigma INFJ. Number 10. To leave a good impression. Sigma INFJs are silent evaluators of people's behaviors. They secretly observe and assess how their peers, co-workers, and family interact with each other and with them. And if they notice a slight hesitation and nervousness in someone's gesture, including seldom eye contact, they will become more cautious around that person. Not maintaining eye contact with the Sigma INFJ means you are unsure of your words. It means you are not confident about your actions and narratives, which is a big deal to INFJs, especially the Sigma. People who are unsure, hesitant, and uncomfortable with their expressions can mean they don't trust themselves, and it may also imply they are untrustworthy towards others. So, if you want Sigma INFJs to be comfortable around you, maintain eye contact whenever you speak with them. Number 9. To establish trust. Eye contact is the Sigma INFJ's standard for nonverbal communication. This, it can significantly impact how they perceive and evaluate others, especially when it comes to trustworthiness, honesty, and intimacy. Sigma INFJs are often wary of others especially those they do not know well. They are very selective of how they express their emotions and thoughts, given how most people can be irrational and deceiving. And as someone who rarely trusts anyone over anything, Sigma INFJs think maintaining eye contact is a big deal, at least with an intent to see through people's intentions. Maintaining eye contact with a Sigma INFJ can help establish trust by demonstrating sincerity and interest in what they say. When someone looks at the Sigma INFJ in the eye, they show them that they are engaged in the conversation and value their input. As a Sigma INFJ, do you also trust someone who maintains eye contact more than those who don't? Number 8. To demonstrate respect. Sigma INFJs believe that maintaining eye contact is a sign of respect in many cultures but they won't feel bad about demanding or requiring it in their social interactions. Most people find maintaining eye contact essential in effective communication, and it is no different when communicating with a Sigma INFJ. By maintaining eye contact, you show the Sigma INFJ that you treat them with the respect they deserve. You are demonstrating to the Sigma INFJ that this is how engaged and interested you are in their point of view. This is especially important when discussing sensitive topics, controversial issues, or complex areas where the Sigma INFJ may feel vulnerable speaking. Number 7. To enhance understanding. Sigma INFJs are known for being complex, hard to relate with, and seemingly incomprehensible. Their ideologies are way more defined, universal, and modified than the majority. So, with their complex and intuitive nature, maintaining eye contact can help them better understand what you are saying. Maintaining eye contact can boost the Sigma INFJ's confidence that you are willing to see things from their viewpoint as they are towards yours. It blurs the difficulty of relating with or trying to match each other's wavelengths because when both parties are willing to understand, Nothing can stop them from arriving at a compromise. When you look Sigma INFJs in the eye, you convey more than just words. It also conveys emotions, tone, and nonverbal cues. This can help Sigma INFJ to better understand your message and respond in a more meaningful way. As a Sigma INFJ, do you also understand people who maintain eye contact better? Number 6. Builds Rapport Maintaining eye contact can help to build rapport between you and the Sigma INFJ. This is especially true when meeting or speaking with them for the first time, as it can help to establish a connection and create a sense of familiarity. 
When you maintain eye contact, you show the Sigma INFJ that you are interested in them as a person and that you are open to building a relationship. You show to the Sigma INFJ that you are eager to explore their inner complexities and experiences without judging them. In return, the Sigma INFJ can consider trusting you and your ability to rationalize their behavior. Number 5. To promote active listening. Sigma INFJs are active listeners, so it's also a bonus when you can reciprocate this level of maturity and engagement when interacting with the Sigma INFJ. It's best to listen to them to let them know that you are capable of mirroring their willingness, attention, empathy, and compassion. Other than that, maintaining eye contact can help to promote active listening by reducing distractions and allowing you to focus on what the Sigma INFJ is saying. When you look Sigma INFJs in the eye, you are less likely to be distracted by other things in your environment, such as your phone or other people, allowing you to understand the complex things Sigma INFJs are saying. This can help you to be more present in the conversation and to actively listen to whatever the Sigma INFJ wants you to know. As a Sigma INFJ, do you admire people who can listen as actively and intently as you do? Number 4. To enhance nonverbal communication. Eye contact can enhance your ability to convey your message, especially when speaking with the most intelligent and complex personality type of the MBTI. It allows you to get your point straight and avoid wasting the Sigma INFJ's time. Sigma INFJs have no time and energy for crooked points and indirect messages. They want their co-workers, friends, and even loved ones to be more direct and honest toward them. Otherwise, it beats the purpose of communicating. This is why Sigma INFJs never beat around the bush themselves. If they want to say something, they ensure they will get their message straight, clear, and well understood. So, when you maintain eye contact, you can mirror the Sigma INFJ's purpose of communicating. Other nonverbal cues, such as facial expressions and body language, are also essential in reinforcing your message. This can help the Sigma INFJs do better understand what you are saying and to respond in a more meaningful way. Number 3. To help build confidence. Maintaining eye contact can make you more confident around the Sigma INFJ. It helps you sound as intuitive, intelligent, and intentional as them, causing them to regard you as someone worth listening to. It causes Sigma INFJs to see you as someone worth their attention and energy, especially when you sound sure of your narratives. This is how they start admiring you for your expertise and credibility. When you look Sigma INFJs straight in the eye, you convey a sense of confidence and self-assurance. This can help the Sigma INFJ to feel more confident in your abilities and trust you more as a communicator. As a Sigma INFJ, do you also think maintaining eye contact increases someone's credibility? Number 2. To reduce misunderstandings. Anyone and everyone can misunderstand a Sigma INFJ, especially when they aren't willing to hear them out. However, maintaining eye contact can help to reduce misunderstandings by ensuring that both parties are on the same page. This gesture helps people around Sigma INFJs pick up on subtle cues and nonverbal signals that may indicate confusion or misinterpretation. This can help people become more aware of Sigma INFJ's mood, intention, and actual message by clarifying their point and ensuring that Sigma INFJ also understands what they are trying to convey. Number 1. To build an emotional connection. Emotional connection is a big deal for the Sigma INFJ despite appearing aloof and withdrawn. It's because they value genuine emotional connections rather than superficial and forced ones. So, maintaining eye contact with them can help you build an emotional connection 
with the most unbothered and emotionally detached personality type. Although this isn't easy, Sigma INFJs will eventually open up as soon as they can sense people's genuine interest in forming an authentic, long-lasting and meaningful bond with them. They will eventually feel comfortable with showing their vulnerable side as they sense how someone is also being vulnerable toward them. But as a Sigma INFJ, how long does maintaining eye contact convince you to be emotionally vulnerable around someone? When communicating with a Sigma INFJ, a personality type known for its intuitive and introverted nature, eye contact can mean so much more than just establishing rapport. Maintaining eye contact with a Sigma INFJ is essential for building trust, deepening a bond, and conveying respect. But as a Sigma INFJ, how will you know whether eye contact is genuine or manipulative? Does maintaining eye contact always imply trustworthiness and honesty?